Okay, this little video is going to be about how to make almost anything into a bolo tie. These are prehistoric animals. I think these are kind of neat. I made some uh, bolos into that using tension clasp on this one, a little Bennett on that guy. So here's another piece. This, this is a gorgeous thing, all polished, $2.50. And here's some pieces I haven't made anything into yet. This is the base of a deer antler a carving. Picked this up in an antique store last week, somewhere out in California. And this is a heart made out of malachite. A uh, very interesting piece. Today, we're gonna use the bolo element, a breast cancer awareness medallion. We have these, we sell the whole completed uh, bolo tie. And uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a tension clasp. We're gonna attach it to that. You could, by the way, you could also attach this to a scarf clip for a lady and make it a scarf. That's a nice thing. We also sell those completed, but let's show you how you make them. First thing you wanna do is you gotta clean up the surfaces because you're gonna be attaching these two pieces of metal onto here and you want it clean and free of oil. We're gonna clean up the surface, scratch up the surface on both of them. We're gonna use a Dremel tool. You could use a file. You don't wanna pop for a Dremel tool, but you can scrape that with a, with a piece of a, a file. Um, and here we go. You have a nice shiny metal surface there. We'll do the same thing on the clasp. Okay, so those we got really nice metal showing. Second thing you want to do for prepare is to wipe it with acetone. Active ingredient in nail polish remover but it's a heck of a lot cheaper, especially in this quantity. So you just take a little bit of it and just wipe it free, make sure that any film of oil from the manufacturer or your own fingers is gone. Stuff's amazing and it evaporates almost instantly along with the oil. Then you mix up the epoxy. And we use this two-part jeweler's epoxy. Some people use crazy glue, single part crazy glue. You can get epoxy in a department, a uh, hardware store. But uh, we sell this uh, special jeweler's epoxy on our site. Mix it together. And in this case, you've got to find 12 o'clock for the piece. You want to make sure you get in the right orientation. And we just use a toothpick to mix it and also to apply it. And the other thing we've got to do is make sure it's oriented right. I'm going to use. And I like to squish it around a little bit. And there it is. This will take about two minutes to set up. It'll take a little bit longer to dry dry, but it'll be set up to be able to work with in a couple minutes. So let's take a break there for a sec. Okay, here's our piece, all dry, five minutes with set, and dry hard hard in 12 to 24 hours. So we wanna thread the cord in the tension clasp. Same deal on the other side. And now we're ready to put the tips on. So let's mix up a little, little dab of epoxy again. That's plenty. And we will mix it up. So epoxy is mixed up. And here's our tips. We're going to use the basic tapered silver tips. Our most popular. It's our own design. And just use the toothpick to put it in the opening of the tip. And it slips on there very nicely. Doesn't look like there's any excess. And again, just wait five minutes. She'll be ready to move. So here's what one of these looks like when it's all done. The tips and a cord and uh, this epoxy is wonderful stuff. Jewelers epoxy two part wonderful stuff and it hangs together. And there you go, I'm ready to put on there and fight breast cancer. Like we said, by the way, you can make the same thing for a lady uh, with a breast cancer emblem on there for a scarf for a woman. Thanks, I hope this helped. Mm -hmm.